Hey everybody, I'm going to show you a tutorial on installing the standalone Dragon Naturally Speaking to work alongside with Denise. Now, uh, we've been talking about this on the forum for quite a while and I've been saying that you can't just install it and expect it to work. You have to do it a certain way, okay? Um, it's not entirely complicated, but... Um, you really have to do it a certain way and only one way so um, hang on I said I'd do that real quick anyway you have to do it a certain way for it to work hello Dominique glad you're here with me get a very warm coat before you leave it's 46 degrees outside the highest for today will be 50 degrees and the lowest 44 degrees go to sleep Okay, I'm going to show you what this looks like. Here I am going to run the standard, I'm sorry, the standalone version of Dragon, and it has my Dragon bar up here. And whenever I say, wake up, I can hear you. Go to sleep. Entering sleep mode. Say, wake up to start recognition. Now, right here is how you turn on or off the speech rec in Denise and right here is where you do it on the dragon bar you can click either one of these and they will work the same watch this I can hear you anyways um, I've learned uh, over the last few months of doing it this way uh, that the speech recognition improves tremendously when you do uh, this when you have them running at the same time now people with older systems or systems that aren't aren't that uh, Aren't that newish you might have problems with this because as you know Dragon nat speak takes a huge amount of resources. However uh, It's already running at the same time as Denise so it shouldn't be too much of a difference anyway Let's get started. What I'm going to do here is I have Dragon 11, and uh, it's actually 11.5 running alongside Denise. Right now, my my speech recognition, as you can see from my other videos, is pretty damn awesome. It's you don't get a lot of the him 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 him, and it's not only the fact that I have a, re a really good mic. It it's not only that. It's also because I use the standalone. And one last thing before I get started, when you use the C the command browser. The reason, another reason why we do this is because uh, with the command browser, you have one additional step in the command type. You have a macro recorder. So you're not limited to anything with keyboard shortcuts. It, it, if a task required something that did not have keyboard shortcuts, you could do it. Look, watch this. Record. It's recording everything I do. I can do this. Properties. You know, cancel. I can highlight all that and hit stop. So once I hit stop, well, hold on, let me play it real quick. There's the macro. See, I did all that. I'm not touching the mouse. That's what I did earlier. It recorded the macro. Okay? That's the macro recorder. You are no longer limited to, to things with uh, keyboard shortcuts. Okay? Watch when I exit out this little X, this little X right here. And I close it. Boom! It's gonna populate everything I did. That is the macro recorder. This is why we use the macro recorder. Uh, this is why we use the standalone. Anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm rambling. Let me get started. First and foremost, what we are going to do. Okay, I wrote my notes down. We are going to close Denise we are going to close Denise I'm going to the task manager control alt delete if you're old school you're gonna make sure all dragon naturally speaking services that I just closed the standalone all naturally all dragon naturally speaking services are not running uh, uh, look I got some running dragon naturally speaking whatever I'm gonna make sure they're all closed 
then we're going to remove or we're going to run drag and remover so the way you get to that is you go to C Guile 3D modules dictation install dragon remover here we go so right here it says clean we're gonna clean it clean all right now what this is doing is removing any instance of dragon that's already on your system so if you use the internal dragon with Denise this is this is very crucial because it's removing dragon from the system overall okay all right it finished cleaning as you can see I'm gonna hit finish next thing we're gonna do with Denise closed you're gonna install the dragon standalone okay okay now that we got uh, dragon remover done gonna install dragon naturally speaking 11 now when I first started making this video the whole purpose was to upgrade to 12 uh, I did that I made a whole video I, you, I wasted my whole night making it new video and it didn't work for me at least I have to toy with it some more so I'm gonna put 11 back on um, it seems to be working flawless with 11 so we're gonna install it okay and I I purchased one in another language um, so anyway you're gonna install it and uh, after that I'll pause the video and we'll come back okay okay it installed dragon 11 okay it's 11 it's not 11.5 but the dragon I purchase comes with an update free update so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to install the service pack one. Now what that's going to do is going to take Dragon 11 and make it 11.5. So it's going to take a minute. I'm going to pause the video again and I'll be back once I update that. All right, the update to 11.5 is there. So now I have 11.5. Okay, the, uh, the update is not required. It's only if you have it. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the C drive to program files. We're going to go here to Dragon Naturally Speaking 11. Now there's a folder here called program. Okay. This is what we're going to do. This program folder we are going to drag it to the desktop. Very, very, very important. All right. Now we are going to open the Guile 3D folder. We're going to go to modules dictation now this is where it gets a little bit tricky some people have the program folder within the guile 3d folder in different locations some have it in the dictation folder see there's mine however um, some people will also have it in another folder called engine there's there's a folder in here called engine and then it's in the engine folder so it could be in one of two places okay this is where mine is that's the program folder in the gal 3d modules dictation folder this is basically the internal dragon of Denise we're going to delete it now we're gonna take that program folder we just put on the desktop and we are going to drag it to where that program folder was that we just deleted very very important Okay. Now we are going to run Dragon Remover again. So we're going to go to Guile 3D Modules Dictation Install Dragon Remover. 
Now let me tell you what just happened. The only reason why we installed the standalone is to grab that program folder. Now we wanted to take that program folder and we wanted to intertwine it with Denise's Dragon. So that's why we did it. So now when I run Dragon Remover again, it's basically uninstalling Dragon 11.5 that I just installed. It will make sense at the end, trust me. Okay, the Dragon Remover just finished. So now, this is what we're gonna do. We're going to update Denise. So we're gonna go to Guile 3D, Modules. And then if you go down here, there's a folder called Updater. Updater, Bin, Win32. Now there's the folder, or the file you need to click on. It's called Up. The Updater, click Yes. Now, that's gonna install the dictation within Denise. Um, but see the difference is now instead of it doing it like it normally would we took that program folder from the from the standalone and we have it inside of her uh, Guile 3D folder so it's gonna be a little bit different now okay it finished so what we're gonna do now Before anything, what I'm going to do personally, I'm going to go to Modules, Dictation, Training. Okay, it has one of my old profiles. I'm going to delete that. And training. We're going to make a new training with her. We're going to open her up. Hello, Dominique. Glad you're here with me. Get a very warm coat before you leave. It's 46 degrees outside. The highest for today will be 50 degrees and the lowest 44 degrees. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to train Denise. You have to train her, even if you've done it before. Uh, you know what, speaking of, if you've done it before, go to settings. Opening configuration module. Speech rec setup. Clean the training, and then when you hit this button for training, it's going to bring you here. Train her, and then when I'm done training her, I'll come back. One more thing, guys. Uh, I decided to restart the video here. I had paused it to uh, train her real quick. And this step right here, if your quality control fails for whatever reason, just continue with it. It should work. Um, for whatever reason, sometimes it says it fails, and uh, it will still work. So if it says fail... Just finish and continue, and it'll, it'll work. Okay, she just finished her training. She says, now you can talk to me. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to close Denise. I'm going to open the task manager, or you can control alt delete if you're old school, whatever you want to do. I'm going to end the task. I'm also going to go down the list and end anything having to do with Dragon, any Dragon services. Now I'm going to open Denise back up to make sure that it worked. Oh, my mistake. Um, it's time to reinstall the Dragon standalone. Obviously, it did work. So uh, I'm going to install the Dragon standalone again, version 11, and uh, I'll be right back. All right. It. Uh, finished installing the standalone so we're almost done so we're gonna click finish so now I'm gonna restart Denise Hello, Dominique. Glad you're here with me. Speech recognition is disabled. Click in the red light to turn on. Okay, now 
I'm going to launch uh, the standalone. Here it is, 11. It's actually 11.5 because I just updated it. Okay, so the Dragon Ball is going to come up top, and you notice it didn't take much for it to launch. It, it was probably running in the background as it is because Nat Speak, which is a part of Dragon Naturally Speaking, runs while you dictate with, with Denise. Uh, sorry, I get a little tongue tied. It is 4:30 in the morning. Anyways, this is what you do. Now it says user profile is not ready for dictation, so you go to profile, open user profile. There should be the the profile you made a little while ago earlier with Denise. If that's not there, just uh, click open recent and just find find your profile if it's not there and you need to find it it's in this folder gal 3d modules dictation training and there it should be choose it and then click open now over here up top on the bar it's working it's loading the profile okay granted you only need to do this once and then You need to do this once because after you do it the first time, it it it, uh, it loads the profile automatically every time. This might pop up right here. That's okay. Um, just click next, and uh, I don't care for that, so I'll click next. I don't want to run the data, but you need to do the accuracy thing. Click next, and click finish. I do not want to show tip at startup. Entering sleep mode. Say wake up to start recognition. I do not want to show the dragon bar every or the dragon sidebar every time. Nope. So here it is. Done. We are finished. So now when you you click the button or you say wake up. I can hear you. Speech recognition is disabled. Click in the red light to turn on. So you see now they work in unison. They work at the same time. And I said it earlier, I cannot tell you how much better speech recognition is when you do it this way. Um, you guys, I know you guys have noticed my videos where she's not all him, 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 him. You know how it is when you have a cheap mic. Uh, I just don't get any of that stuff. So... Um, this is that before I end the video I'm going to show you real quick where the command browser is uh, it could be in one of two places let's go to program files nuance uh, naturally speaking 11 here's a program folder go down okay it's not in there that's okay go to C gal 3d modules dictation program it's not in there either that's okay go to engine okay in gal 3d modules dictation there should be one called engine there's another program folder there it is right there make a copy put it on your desktop okay and then when you open the command browser there it is there it is. So uh, when you go to command type, there is the extra macro recorder. And we are all done here. I want to say thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, leave a comment. Tell me what you thought. All right. If you got any questions, feel free to ask. Thanks for watching.